Welcome back to Taxa Tuesday. Today we are highlighting the beautiful Monarda punctata, commonly known as dotted horse mint. It's in the mint family, Lamiaceae. The species is commonly found on roadsides. It grows very well and readily in dry sandy soils or rocky uh, calcareous soils as well. It's a favorite of native bees, wasps, and other pollinating insects. So many species are attracted to Monarda. The flowers are arranged in clusters of tiered whorls along the inflorescence, the flowering stalk. It's incredibly conspicuous, even from a distance, because of these colored bracts, which can be white like the, this one, or it can be a darker pink color as well. These look similar to petals because they're so showy, right? But they're actually not. They're a bract, which is a modified leaf or scale that usually subtends the flower or inflorescence. The common name dotted horse mint comes from the actual flowers on the plant. These are the flowers right here. And they are typically yellow to white with purple to burgundy speckles on them, dots, which is where the common name comes from. Here's an individual flower up close. And like many mint family members, the corolla, the yellow part here, is made up of five united petals. And then down here at the base, you see the sepals, which are five united sepals that make up what's called a calyx. This is a great book if you're interested in learning about botany and native plants in general. It's called Botany in a Day, The Patterns Method of Plant Identification by Thomas J. Elpel. And it has a kind of brief intro to all of the plant, the major, not all of them, but the major plant families in North America. And the mint family is one of the largest ones. And it has keywords to know about the family in order to familiarize yourself. And those for mint are square stalks, which we have here, opposite leaves, and usually aromatic. And yes, indeed, they have opposite leaves. You can see here, they're arranged oppositely on the stem, and it's very aromatic. The fragrant leaves have a very strong scent. It's very similar to the culinary herb thyme, which is in the same family, Lamiaceae, the mint family. And they both have this same oil, naturally occurring oil in the leaves and stem and all parts of most parts of the plant called thymol. And thymol is a very strong uh, medicinal oil that has been used for a very long time for a a variety of medical uses because it has uh, very strong antibacterial properties and it was even this species was even harvested commercially for thymol at one point thanks for joining us for taxa tuesday this week and i'll see you guys again next week